Hello friends! In today's video, we will discuss how to save money with low income in 2023. Why is saving money important? The key to saving money with a low income is to be disciplined, persistent, and consistent in your efforts. The concept of saving money is pretty simple. Saving provides a financial backstop for life's uncertainties and increases feelings of security and peace of mind. Once an adequate emergency fund is established, savings can also provide the seed money for higher yielding investments such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Savings are important for everyone. If you can save money on a low income, you will have the security of cash to fall back on in the event of an emergency instead of relying on quick loans to save the day. People with a low income struggle to save because they are either not left with enough after expenses or aren't in the habit of saving. Irrespective of how people manage their finances, no one can ignore the importance of saving. With discipline and financial planning, everyone can save irrespective of how much they earn. As someone famous once said, savings give you the freedom to live on your terms. So gather yourself, plan well, and value your freedom. Let's discuss the finance tips and strategies that can help you save money even with a low income. Create and stick to a budget. Budgeting might sound like you're limiting yourself, but it allows controlled expenditure. It saves you from careless spending. Once you start budgeting, you'll know exactly where to spend your money, which in turn will help you bridge the gap between your savings goals and actual savings. So plan your expenses and savings, allot your money accordingly, and start tracking it efficiently. Writing down your expenses can be an effective way to save money as it helps you gain visibility into where your money is going and identify areas where you can cut back. By keeping track of your expenses and creating a budget, you can gain control over your finances and make more informed decisions about where to allocate your money. This can help you reduce your spending, increase your savings, and set you on your way to achieving your financial goals. Remember that budgeting is a process and it takes time to adapt and make it a habit, but it is worth it in the end. Make saving a habit. Treating your budgeted amount for savings like a monthly bill makes it easier. So every payday, make sure you set aside your savings money just like you would for other bills. You can start with a small amount and invest it in a guaranteed savings plan. Emergencies are always uncalled for. We can't eliminate them, but can take precautions. Chart out possible situations where you're likely to need money, like your aging father's health or your children's health care, and allow your savings specifically for such needs. The antidote is to make savings a part of your life. This way, your low income will never be an excuse for not saving. Your friends may start calling you a miser, but you'll be saved from borrowing money when in need. Leverage insurance to secure your family's future. Investing money in life insurance and savings plans provides you with a security net and an effective savings tool. If used well, you can build your wealth to meet your financial goals and future expenses, such as buying a new house, marriage, child's education, or retiring. Cut back on housing expenses. Housing costs vary every year, and they are influenced by various factors from the inflation rate to global market prices for basic commodities and utilities. Home ownership constitutes the bulk of living expenses. According to research by CNBC One, the rule of thumb for housing expenditure is that you should be spending on housing no more than 30% of your gross monthly income. In the process of building up your savings, you should try to reduce your expenditure as much as possible by downsizing, changing location, or renting out rooms. According to an article, the average homeowner in the United States spends $1,784 a month on housing needs. 
From this, at least $1,050 is used for mortgage payments. This amount may vary from state to state, but it doesn't include costs for utilities, food, maintenance, homeowner's insurance, and transportation. Home ownership requires sacrifices, and making the most out of the benefits will cost you your plans in the future. It's still possible to stay in your home while staying on track towards your goals. It's just a matter of using the right approaches and making the right decisions before purchasing a home and during your stay there. Cut off unnecessary expenses to build savings. If you're finding it hard to save money, it's time to reduce unnecessary expenses. Go through your budget and look for expenses that can be ignored. Look out for subscriptions that can be cancelled, expensive phone plans, and unnecessary entertainment expenses. It's important to know what you're currently spending to find ways to reduce spending and balance your budget. The most important step is to write it down, says J. Michael Collins, Family and Consumer Economics Specialist with the UW-Madison Division of Extension. Once you have it on paper, you have a much better sense of where the money goes. Pick one week and track everything you spend. You will probably be surprised. If you want to save money on a low income, cashback is another great way to save. Top Cashback and Quidco are two of the most popular websites for this in the UK. These sites offer great deals when you sign up for various services. They can also be a great way to create a regular income on everyday purchases. For instance, if you travel by train often, Trainline.com offers regular cashback on all bookings, which soon adds up. Remember to use them, then set aside the money you've saved by being a thrifty shopper. The bottom line on how you can save money on a low income. If you're looking forward to building your savings and living a financially independent life, take a minute and be honest with your current financial situation and goals. Now, try to adopt the tips above one by one in your life. It might seem complicated initially, but with some changes in your lifestyle and mindset, you'll be set for a financially fulfilling life. Additionally, choose the plan that works best for you and watch your savings grow steadily. By taking small steps toward your goals and sticking to your plan, you can make real progress and create a more secure financial future for yourself and your family. When you save money on a low income, the bigger picture can seem bleak. Many people believe that their money is not worth saving unless they're setting aside a significant amount every month. Saving every spare penny can make a big difference to your bank balance. Hope this video is helpful to you. See you in our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get regular updates on business topics.